Uh, my name is Abby Hines. My name is Alex Knoll. My name is Connor Coombs. My name is Sophie. My name is Jesse. Uh, my pronouns, I guess, would be he, him. And I use they and them pronouns. I'm 17, I'm gonna be 18 next month. I'm 29 years old. I'm 15. I've been a teacher for 30 years. I actually graduated 38 years ago from this very building, and I've been a teacher here since 1996. I've often said to my students that, uh, as a student at Ferdman Collegiate back in those days, in the late 70s and 1980, there were nearly a thousand students in our school, but nobody was gay. I should rephrase that. I knew people who were uh, queer or LGBT. I just didn't know that they were LGBT. When I was a student here at Corner Brook High, um, pride and gender and sexual diversity were not really things that were discussed out in the open. There were, there were a couple of students that openly identified as uh, under the LGBT umbrella, but other than that, uh, there wasn't uh, much discussed in terms of like the curriculum or even like the, the school culture and environment. It was very, very taboo at that time. It wasn't a safe environment for students to come out. Boys did not dye their hair, they didn't pierce their ears. It was admittedly acceptable for a girl to be a tomboy, is what we used to say, but really there was a total lack of awareness, total ignorance about those issues. I joined the Pride Alliance in 2015, and I'm an ally. I joined the Pride Alliance uh, this year, so 2018, but I've been working with them previously, and I'm with them because I'm gay, and I thought that it would be a space where I could feel comfortable and keep working on stuff I love. I mean, I guess it's a transition. I don't know. I, I... It hasn't really been a big thing for me because I just, I've always been a person who's just done me. So like, I didn't really go from one thing to another. I just kind of kept on going, you know, different name, that's about it. Right now we have a gender neutral washroom that the Pride Alliance has worked on uh, getting for all of our students. And that's been something that there's been a lot of students that have been really uh, excited about. And um, our Pride Alliance has also just really created an environment um, where students can feel comfortable. I think that there's a lot of students who are in the LGBTQ community who aren't in the Pride Alliance, but they feel a lot, uh, a lot better and safer just knowing that it's there. I do feel, for the most part, safe and accepted here in the school. I have really great friends. We've, we've always been kind of like the weird group, so like, we, there wasn't really any push back against it. It was just kind of like, okay, whatever. And like, we went on with our day. As, f as much as things have become a lot different in so many ways, and uh, there's so much more support available, I think, to students than there was 10 years ago, I think a lot of the problems still exist from what I've been hearing just from students. Not to speak from, not to speak for anybody, but this is just what I've been hearing from, from students that I teach. We still struggle with stereotypes and different um, preconceived notions, I guess, of who we are and what we're doing. So to break down those walls and to create a space that everyone is comfortable and nobody feels like they have to be anything else but who they are in the future, I think, is where we're going. Uh, in the future, I think that there's still um, a lot more education that needs to be spread. We have some great teachers at the school, but we also have um, some staff who just need to learn a little more, but, um, and students as well who uh, definitely can learn more from the Pride Alliance. And so there's always things to keep working towards and hurdles that uh, we have to face, but we're really proud of what we've done. I am overwhelmed by the progress that I think we have made in the last few years. But again, we, have, we still have a ways to go.